hello all welcome to tech capture myself Vishal Bulbule and in this session we are going to see what is VPC peering and how we can create a VPC peered network so that two networks can interact with each other using their private IPs let's first see uh, what is the concept of VPC peering so suppose you have a two projects with project A and project B and you have a VPCs in project a as well as vpcs in project b and now you are you created the project separate project for your application vm and you created separate project for your database vm but your application should connect to your database in that case uh, it cannot be possible with external ips because it is not feasible to use external ips in a production so what you will use you will peer network a to network b so that these two virtual machines interact with each other using their internal IP. So interaction with internal IP is normal case is only possible within the same VPC. But if we peer these two VPC, it will be possible so that network A and machines inside the network A can interact with the machines inside network B using the internal IP. So we'll see this. We'll just create the same setup in our projects and we'll see the live demo how we can create a vpc peering so but why should we use a vpc peering what are the advantages so if we use a vpc peering it will decrease the network latency how it will decrease because if we are not using internal ip for a communication then traffic will flow through the external ip so the network so just go to diagram here if there is no peering then external ip of your network a will just go to the public internet it will go to the dns it will resolve the ip address of your machine in b and after resolution it will then go to your machine b so this traffic should flow through the internet path so it is not a secure as well as it will take a lot of time if your traffic has to go through the network path so and the cost so as you know the networking costs are decided based on the egress traffic so how much traffic you are sending outside your network it will decide your network cost so if you are not using a vpc peering your traffic will go and travel to the internet so it will increase your cost with very large manner but if you are using a vpc peering it should be considered as a single network and your traffic will not go outside your google network so how we can create a vpc peering so suppose we have to peer a network a to the network b so what we should do first we need to create network peering from network a to b then we can name it as a ab then we need to create a firewall in vpc network to allow ingress and then we will create a peering from network b to network a and then we will create a firewall in vpc network b now we will quickly go to our projects and we will create this setup so I have this GCP June A project and I have another project my trapture host so I will be creating network A in my first project and I will be creating network B in my second project so let me quickly go and create a network here so I will go to VPC network and I will create one VPC quickly here I'll just give the name as a VPC A. I will use a subnet name as a subnet A. Region I will give. I will choose as a US Center 1. And IP range I will give 10.0.0.0 slash 24. So you can give any valid CIDR range. And I'm creating the network. So same way. Let me go to the another project and create one network there called vpcb so let me change project so currently i am in a project a let me go to the this my trapture host project which will be our second project and let me create vpc here so let me create vpcb and I will give the CIDR range. So here subnet I will give subnet B. 
region i will just choose any us region or any region i can choose but i'll just choose us east 4 and the network range i will give 10.10.10.0 10 24 and i'll just create network b as well now my vpc a is created so i'll just create firewall to allow ssh or icmp so i'll add a firewall rule i'll just add a rule allow ingress I will use all instance in my network a range I will just give and here I will give 22 other protocol I will give ICMP and I will create check what is the issue here I need to give in capital let me create okay my firewall rule is created in VPC a so let me quickly go to the VPC B and I'll create firewall rule in VPC B as well to allow SSH and ICMP traffic I will quickly add a firewall rule I will just give the name allow SSH and protocol additional protocol i will choose as icmp and i'll create a firewall rule here okay now as we are creating the same setup as this diagram so the project a is created network a is created subnet is also created and firewall is also created now i'll create a virtual machine in both the network to test the connectivity so I will just go to VM instance page and I will create VM instance. So I will create instance. I will give the name as a instance A as we are creating in VPC A. There a region I kept it as a central one because our VPC A is having subnet in central one A and I will choose a VPC as my VPC A and I'll create my machine so same way I'll go to my VPC B and I'll create machine here So I just give the name as instance B and location I will choose as a US East 4 because I have created a VPC in US East 4. Now I will create a machine so it will all by default take a VPC B because I only have a single VPC in network in this project so it will take a VPC B. So this instance A is created okay let me log in into the instance a so i will use gcloud compute ssh instance a zone 
let me check the zone so it is us central one a let me log in so it's logged in into the instance a now and let me try to ping this internal ip okay so no response so we are not able to reach to the internal ip of instance b so currently we just set up this structure and we are yet to start with our peering so i'm just showing the connectivity before peering so we can compare it the connectivity after peering okay so it is packet loss 0% 100% packet loss so this is timeout let me try to ping external ip okay here you could see we are trying we are able to ping external ip but issue with the internal ip because these two machines cannot interact with a internal ip so let me quickly go and create a vpc peering so i will just go to the vpc peering page vpc network peering and create connection click on continue here I will just give the peering A to B and so I am just giving A B because as we uh, see in our steps so we have to create peering from network A to network B so I am just creating A to B my network I will choose as a VPC A and peered network is it in same project or different so I have in another project so I will give the project ID so we can copy project ID from this URL as well or you will have the project ID in your dashboard page and the VPC network name So I will give the VPC B and I'll create a pairing. I am not choosing any other option. So it's creating the pairing between network A and B. But one thing you will observe once the pairing is created. So let me refresh this page. Now once the peering is created, it, you could see this setup status as a inactive because peering has to be on both the end. So create, currently we only created peering from network A to network B. Now we have to create peering from network B to network A as well. So let me go to the my another project. I will go to my VPC and I will create peering from project B as well. So same process I will follow. I will just use a peer network as a VPC B network now. So I will give the name as a peering BA because I am connecting from creating peering from network B to network A. So local network I will give as a VPC B and peer network I will choose in another project GCP A and network name I will give as a VPC A. rest all i will keep as it is and i will create so now once this peering is created you could see the status will become active here as well so it is being created now you could see the status is active and once i refresh this page it will also become active okay now peering has been done now we'll try to 
run a same and same command so here it was not able to interact with this machine using internal IP we'll try to run the same thing now and now you could see we are getting response from another machine so in this way we established connectivity between these two network using their internal IP so that's it for a VPC peering let me know if you are having any doubts or any queries regarding VPC peering thank you for watching the video